Hey folks, Tony here with TNT RVing and today I'm under Bell working on the freshwater tank. Bell here is equipped with a 52 gallon freshwater tank and it currently has just three supports that hold all that weight. And really Rockwood does not recommend filling up the tank and traveling any sort of distance. They do say uh, you can put uh, water in it and then travel within the campground, but they really don't want you traveling on roads hitting potholes, bumps, and stuff. Uh, the, the support that they have in here really isn't designed for that, that type of travel. So unfortunately, Tina and I have got a couple boondocking trips coming up, and I am probably not gonna fill it up to 52 gallons, but I may add uh, 30, 40 gallons or so. And I am gonna add an additional support using straps, uh, the ratchet straps. And I wanted to show you what I discovered and I think this is an easy fix if you feel you need to have a little additional support. So come along, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do this. Alrighty, so we're underneath Bell here. And right here, this, this section is the pass-through. And right here is our corrugated plastic underbelly. And what they do is they have this trim piece that holds the leading edge of it nice and tight. And what we're gonna do is remove the, the bolts here, those are 3 8 drive head, and we're gonna go ahead and remove that along with this clamp on this gas line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, open up the underbelly, and I'll show you what it looks like in there. Alrighty, so the trim piece that holds the underbelly is removed. I brought it down as far as I could to expose the brackets here. And what we're gonna do is with the ratchet straps i'm going to sneak the ratchet straps underneath here from one side of the frame to the other side of the frame and we're just lightly going to add pressure here just to have some support so we we're having some issues with our gauge and interesting enough i found a broken wire here so kind of neat i found the wire i'll be able to fix this and that gauge will start working again so i'm going to go ahead and get some some stuff ready here and I'm going to show you what uh, we'll do to get this working. Alrighty, so not sure if you could see this, but these are uh, Hallmaster uh, straps. It's an inch and a half by 10 foot and uh, do not exceed 1,000 pound capacity, which we're not even going to be close to that. And I have three of them, so we should be in good shape with these. So I got my wire back up here connected. Yeah, somewhere there and I'm gonna feed these straps in and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna feed them in through the frame over here there's a nice little gap so I'm not sure if you, you could tuck it in there and as you can see my hand so I'm gonna get that in there and then I'll be right back with you alrighty so from the one side you can see I fed the straps and the hooks are facing down and they're grabbing a hold of the frame then I'm feeding them through and they're against the tank itself I have three of them and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do on the other side here alrighty so for the ratchet end of it what I did was I actually shortened the length here I just used the same loop end as the bolt uh, is inserted there I actually flipped it around too. So this was originally facing the other direction like that. So I removed the bolt and the nut and now it's facing this way. So I can put this in through the frame, grab a hold of that, and this end here will be out of my way when I'm trying to tighten it. So I'll show you how that looks once it's installed. Alrighty, so we're installed here. And as you can see, there's no wires or anything in the way there and then on the outside you can see that the hooks are all facing down so it's grabbing a hold of that top part of that frame and then going underneath those factory supports there and then on this side you can see that the ratchets or ratchet straps there are out of the way as well and then let's go on the outside here and hopefully you can see that that the way that those hooks are 
So let's put some water in it and see what it does. Alrighty, the other thing I wanted to point out too is I did not crank these down. As you can see, you could get your hand in here. And uh, one of the concerns I had is I didn't want to put um, too much pressure on this and wrinkle this this part. It's really, this is kind of a really thin tank. So, and once uh, I wanted to make sure I'm not overstressing it with this so let's let's see what happens when we fill this up with water alrighty so the straps are all in I got that uh, the water gauge wire hooked back up so that'll work now and I'm gonna leave this camera in place while I'm filling it show you exactly how this is gonna support it when we have uh, 40 50 gallons of water in it so I'm gonna start filling it up Alrighty, so we're at 20 and a half gallons so far. So almost half capacity. And as you can see, the tank really does sag. So without these straps, it really, really would sag. So I'm going to probably take it up some more and we'll see what it looks like. Alrighty, so that's 30 gallons. And as you can see, it's a lot of weight in here and it's really sagging but um i think those straps are are helping it out so you could see why you wouldn't want to fill this up to 52 gallons uh as it comes equipped from the factory and go bouncing down the road because chances are you're going to bend these brackets and and who knows maybe even lose your your tank so i'm going to bring it up a little bit more maybe to 40 gallons because uh honestly i don't i don't foresee us ever needing to have more than 40 gallons in this thing and traveling very far alrighty so here's what 40 gallons looks like we still have capacity for another 12 uh, we have a boondocking trip coming up and that's the reason for supporting this um, we're gonna be at a campground for like eh, not even a campground in a field for like four or five days and I just wanted to, to add a little support to the tank so I want to show you a little bit closer what it looks like. So as you can see, it does flex a bit, but I'm really pleased with the way that looks. It is definitely, these straps are really helping. And I mean, you can't even get underneath there. Let's look over here by the, everything seems clear. The straps, which is good. So, and then what we'll do, come over on this side, and that looks good as well. Alrighty. So, feeling good about this mod, and I hope this helps you out. Well, there you have it, folks. The Fresh Water Tank Mod. I hope you found this video helpful. And I should also point out that I'm sure... Forest River Rockwood would not recommend doing what I just did here, but I felt it was necessary for our particular situation. And I, I feel that it's a pretty safe uh, mod for, like I said, our particular situation. So proceed with caution if you so choose to do this. Uh, I appreciate you watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a like or a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And as Tina would say, we'll see you at the campground. Thank you.